Hey everybody, it's the Doctor here with Typical Manga Fan, and this episode of the Typical Manga Review is going to be dedicated to Bleach, Chapter 651, The Theata Suicide, Scene 5. And, fortunately, I was very afraid when I first saw this first page because it had the black flashback panels, but fortunately it doesn't last more than a couple of chapters, long enough for a young Sun Shui to call a woman sis. <laughs> well, at the same time, though, I mean, we it, the flashback was coming. We knew it was coming. Yeah, I'm just so. glad it didn't take more than that. So, anyway, back in the present, Tweety Barrow wonders where to, where could they be hiding, and turns his head into a UFO. Apparently, the wide angle vision helps him. He spots a little shadow running around, and realizes that's where. Um, ah, now I get it. This ca this Kakeone can remain within the, a shadow for quite some time, apparently. Well, in that case. I wonder what would happen if I simply erased all the shadows from the ground. You know, I think I said this before, but I... With the voice, I'm trying for Tweety Bird, but I think I'm coming out with Tantata. <laughs> I, I don't know what they sound like, any, uh, the Tantata sound like, if they wouldn't, uh, because they haven't dubbed that part yet. Well, so it's I don't not... Know. But in the manga, like, the English manga, they give them, like, childish, like, little, like, Elmer Fudd voices. Oh. Like, if you listen to One Piece podcast, like, during the Dress Rosa chapters, they do it, they have a Tantata voice. <laughs> anyway. Okay. When the shadows disappear, the one last little shadow remains is apparently on Tweety Barrow himself, because that's where Nanao pops out of, carrying something wrapped up. And Kyokotsu's like, we flash back now to their conversation about the Zanpakuto. Like, Nanao's like, I always knew that Katen and Kyokotsu could split up into Katen and Kyokotsu, like one and the other, but then she is my Zanpakuto. Well, kinda, but that's not really all there is to it. And it's like, um,. This is apparently, false advertising, man. Yep. <laughs> apparently, like, the way it's, like, Ohana, like, it says you're, like, flower, like, Ohana is, um, gave birth to the other one to hide her Zanpakuto. And this was done at Nanao's mother's request. Because apparently their family line to Issei has always been a lineage of females. As far back as their records go, like, only women have ever been born to its members. And they always have to search for husbands from outside the family. I would hope so. Well... Yeah, I hope so. I was like, why would they stay inside? Well, because nobility. I, I know, I know. Nobility encourages inbreeding. I, I know, but I, I, I thought... I yeah. didn't think of that when, you know, because it's like, well, of course he should. Well, I'll give it a few pages here. But all the men that marry into the house of Issei are said to be stricken with the curse of Issei and die early deaths. There are, of course, many who think that the curse is nonsense, and, and but she definitely didn't think that way. She wanted to sever herself from that legend and was prepared to end the, the Issei bloodline by leaving the marriage family of marrying outside, but the, her husband passed away soon after, and she was Kyoraku's older brother's wife. So basically, he is Nanao's uncle. By law, by law, yep. No, biologically. So, yeah. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's red, okay, wait, wait. She is his she brother's was, wife. Is his brother's wife, right? right? So that means she's not related to him. Oh, no, 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 you're right, right, right never mind. I totally forgot Nanao about that. Nanao okay. is... I was, I was thinking of the mom being the sister-in-law, but yes, and now is related to him. Okay, yeah, I yeah. take it back. Yeah, I don't know what anyway. I was thinking. Yeah, but it's like, since we, like, he goes on, like, he, he, the, he and his brother didn't exactly get along, but things turned for the better when she came around. So she he could visit, he could um, play around over there, but then the brother died. And when the man at the house died, it's the noble families, it's common for the noble families for the wife to sever ties with the husband's family and return to the original house. So she did. And it, even though she... Um, tried to get rid of it, she couldn't, like, escape from them after all. Like, it's... And it's, as I always... We had kind of have her talking here. In, a woman of Issei cannot escape from the house of Issei, nor from its curse. So maybe the root of all that is the very is their sword. Because that... And she wanted to free her child that she'd given birth to from the clutches of that curse. So she trusted the sword to kill Raku. And... She gave... He gave it to the... Second one, I can't remember the Japanese name right offhand. Uh, lunatic is what they're Kyo saying Kotsu? here in manga stream. Yeah, Kill Coach, oh. thank you. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She, she liked hide and seek and can find a place to conceal it, so she reaches actually into her face, which is actually kind of a cool effect, I will admit. Yeah. And pulls out the bundle that we saw Nanao holding a moment ago. Uh, you know, you, um, you actually managed to come out of a shadow as small as this? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I was just saying, like, eh. I, uh, it was just kind of like I didn't expect this. Um, so wait, can does does Kiroku like lose his second sword or does he still have it? Like, I don't well, know. no. Or um, my understanding is that the second sword was created to hide the nows. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens now that he's given it back to Nana? Is it going to well, disappear? Or is it, is it going to be like a normal sword again, or what? Presumably, you would still have it. It would, like, it would just be both of them now. Yeah, it's, it's, so now, mean, now it's both Ohana? I, I, guess, think it would right? just be, I would think it would just be the same as before, just now they're not holding the sword. Okay, so, but Ohana's controlling both of them, whereas with before it was Ohana was one and she was the other? Or, or well, is it just... I would just say it was continuing like it has before now, just not holding the sword anymore. Oh, okay, okay. So it was always no Ohana being control of both, it was just... It's what well, happened. That or Kyokotu has it's her, own, it's her own being the entire time as well. Yeah, so 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 yeah, so the, basically, yeah, the second sword was there just to to be like a lie, like pretending yeah. as if Kyokotu like, had her own sword. In reality, it was Ohana controlling both. Um, no, because today, wait, 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 wait. My thinking on this is that both swords are their yeah. own distinct personality. Nanao's okay. sword is a third party. Yeah, okay, okay. That's what, that's what I was about to correct. So myself Ohana is not controlling both of them. She, you have Ohana, then you have Kyokotu. Yeah, okay, and, and then, then you have the, and then, then you have the now sword. Yeah, but they saying it? that she created Kyokutsu just to make just this, as a hiding place. Uh, so what was she before? Well, presumably just part of Ohana or part of the sword. Make it basically see, 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 split she into part, two blades. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If she was part of Ohana, that means Ohana was control of both, right? Not necessarily. I mean, this it, dep- it depends on how much free will Kyokutsu has. See, that's the thing. Like she, it's clear that what what I see is that this is Nana Sword enraptured by Ohalo's, like, but by Kyokutsu, Kyokutsu, well, right? Well, I'm not even considering Nana Sword when I talk about this. Nana yeah. Sword is its own separate entity, completely separate from Kyokutsu and Katen or oh, okay. Hana, whatever you want to call her. Okay. In other words, there are three swords involved. Okay, okay. Because she, it, it, it's it's it, the, the 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 problem I had with the, this was that this this the, obviously Kuroku was alive before Nana. Uh, you know, was born, or, or you know, so, so I'm assuming he had his two swords. So before Kyokotsu was created, I'm, I'm assuming that what was the back back, back then, because that that's what I'm confused about. Right, like he created the sword as a way to hide it, but it's still its own entity. Anyway, okay. so then it, what, what, it was one sword before. It was, that's my understanding here. Now that you bring it up, okay. like it was originally and one we, sword. Kyoraku split it into two. Each yeah. sword has its own distinct personality and free will. Okay, so that means this Kyokotsu second... is. Lo- Go ahead. Oh, oh so I'm just saying that. So that means that this Kyokotsu offers no other no other ability other than just to hide something. That was that's, pre- that's all. Yeah. Presumably, at least not in that form. At least not in that form. I mean, I, as in battle, it might be something different, but yeah. that is what well, Kyokotsu's abilities, Kyokotsu's abilities, anyway, hiding in the shadows. So the the filler arcs when they fought what. Kyokotsu was supposed to be doing was supposed was she was supposed to be the fast one and therefore distracted the enemy. Mm-hmm. Whereas Kyan Katen, uh, the the bigger woman Ohana, she would come in with the bigger blow because she was slower, mm-hmm. but she was the actual she was the stronger one. That's that's okay. their teamwork, right? So and it may next year may well just develop that way since then. But, yeah, because I'm I'm, a little, I'm like if, if that's all she does, I'm a little disappointed. Yeah. Anyway, um, coming back to the flashback here, if you don't mind. Uh, next year, and now it's like she knows that um. Kiraku is not does not want to hand this sword over, but was that truly for her own sake? Just my just as my mother's own will was to turn her back on this curse and throw it away, I too have my own will, and I've decided to embrace every bit of it. Besides, even if I welcome this curse with open arms, it's possible. Rather, somehow I just know that the person I adore would just look at this entire situation and laugh. She says to her uncle. Yeah, but I think. Chris, I, no. Well, I mean, first off. Uh, I, yeah, in the other uh, translation, they said love, but I think this they specifically talk about the fact that adore they use the word adore because it's no, she's adore yes. uncle as like a family member. So, but the curse only affects husbands and lovers. Oh, 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 oh wait, oh, yeah, yeah. So there's a certain implication there. I think, yeah, but they 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 did point. Then why would he specifically use the word adore instead of like love? Because they, they even the translators wanted to point that out. Just to be clear, this is for I mean adore. So it yeah, also says adore slash yearn for. I I uh, but it's Japanese. Maybe the translation isn't really perfect. So I, I don't know. Wait, wait. It's also Japanese, and which is has multiple manga and anime series covered to the brim with furries incest. I, I'm just glad this time it's not a brother. Uh, but he this is, this is an age difference too. See, wait, he, wait, was, wait. He, he looked exactly the same when she was like a small child. That's in the ways this is worse. You know, it's funny to think about a, a dot that occurred to me. Here we have Tweety Barrow looking as grotesque as he does, and we're more disturbed by the potential of in, age difference incest. Damn, I mean, that's culture, man! <laughs> Priorities! Real Westerners. real Westerners! Come on, this is weird! Why do we do this? Why do they do that? It's so weird, it's wrong! Yeah. 
Well, well at least like, it's weird. Yep, and in, at this point, Kiraka relents, like, fine, I get it, take it. With that sword, I'm sorry, I'll have no problem. So, then now it's opening the fight. And, do you really think one single aid alone can stand up to me? And we hear Nanao thinking to herself, like, the house of Issei is a lineage of priests. Carrying out and governing rituals and rites, they do not individually possess Zanpakuto's. The head of the house inherits and passes down one single Zanpakuto. Used for rituals, it has no blade, and as such, it is not a sword that can strike down a person. Rather, it is made to face off against godly beings, to take the power of a god into its own body, and disperse it off into the eight oh, directions. How convenient. Yes, yeah, so we're getting into that. And his name is <laughs> Shinken Hakyoken. And actually, so... Actually, was this now thinking, or is that Kiraku talking? Now do I look at this panel here? I think it's 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 uh, Kiraku talking, but I think I think it's to emphasize that they're both saying at the same time. Maybe. Yep. And at this point, I want to bring to bring up a conversation that we once had on Twitter, just a brief one, where we were discussing the difference between plot twists and ass pulls. The difference being that, well, do you recall the difference? Yeah, one has foreshadowing and hints. And- Stuff. Yes. One comes out of nowhere. And I took a few forums just kind of looking around because I was curious about this. And apparently, the only real hint to um, none now is that her last her family name Issei can refer to priests. Oh my gosh! That That's is a, nothing. That is nothing. Hence why I say that is all. Yeah, that is nothing. I mean, their names could be any about anything. Maybe Ichigo's name means something because they keep talking strawberry. about it. It means strawberries. Yeah. Is this, is this, like, super-duper bonkai going to be, like, a strawberry or something? Yeah, it's also, it, 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 it's also the Japanese numbers for 1 and 5, and he started the yeah. episode, it, it, the series, at 15. Yeah, but he's not 15 anymore, so he has to change his name, I guess. I don't, uh, it's just, it's, it's, no, this is not... This is bad. Like, even foreshadowing has to have its own... Like, there's a skill in foreshadowing, right? There's a way you do it. Yes. You know, too obvious, too not too obvious. This is not... This, this is an ass pole, or head pole, as you said before, because she came out of uh, the uh, little Barra's head. But... This is this no no this is not. I get people will be distracted by how awesome and now can actually do something, uh, by the fact that she can do something. But no, you you cannot just hand her a silver platter like this without having to work for it. No 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 no. Yeah, I mean this is like, I mean it's, it's all like family lineage and all that. I mean that's fine, but there was never any other single hint of this whatsoever. It's a it's a. Do as ex machina. It's like it's just like Nemu having some sort of sudden. Well, Nemu less so, I suppose, but still having sort of some sudden power up and allows her to win the battle her captain could not. Yeah, I have a question. When was like with the Issei family, by like, for example, where were they even mentioned before? Like that's the thing. Nowhere. This whole thing was never mentioned. If they could at <laughs> least say that they maybe it was one of the four family noble family, or, or even have now referred to her to Kyoka as like as an uncle at least once or twice. Yeah, something. No, this is. Oh. Ugh. Quick little note of humor, on Arlong Park, like they have their bleach thread, they they change the title based on the chapter, and this time it's the Ise family curse of death by snoo snoo. <laughs> <It is. laughs> yeah. So. Like, yeah. Uh, by the way, um, it, so in terms of the. the the shipping, as I guess we have to talk about. It, is Kirikou's with going with his sword or his niece? Which one's more weird and disturbing? <laughs> I don't know. Neither one's very... Like... Honestly, at this point, I would find the sword less disturbing because at least he's around it all the time. They've got this companionship. Is, this is... This, this, this cannot... And the, this can't... Uh, oh. No. Like, the very first comment of manga stream is like, Okay, here, take this specific katana. It can't kill a man, but it can kill this exact foe. Yeah. And just like we've said, like another one, he's like, just kind of like what we've said, like, I think Kubo's just mailing it in. He knows it's the last arc, so he's, and he's like, just like, fuck it. <laughs> he's happy to collect his check and then move on to his next project where he can draw no backgrounds again. You know what's funny? Is that there's a, this is just literally mm-hmm. a rehash of the criticism that's been given to police, literally proving itself that it's all the criticism is true. I mean, that a guy um, on the comment section just saying, like, this has been the problem with police recently. So mm-hmm. many characters are pulling out random moves to counter the abilities so specifically, with little to no foreshadowing. Yeah. It, it's not right. Like, and, 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 you know, it, it's... But you know what? I'm sure the fans will love it. If they want to love it, it's fine, but I'm not buying. I'm not I'm not biting. And it's my right to say I don't bite. Yeah. Actually, I do like one... Mon- they do mention one interesting, like, maybe positive thing here. It's like, um, Lily proving the elites aren't hype, like, he practically beats Sensui 1 versus 1 fair and square. 
like in a straight fight. So there's something to that at least. Well, but yeah, I mean, Shinsui didn't he point out that he's also not a fair fighter? He he attacks people when well, they're, like, at least it's a straight one on one fight. Like no special advantages one or the other besides what they bring into it. Yeah, yeah, I just I'm just disappointed. Um, yeah, but I mean, like it, I said, this is just total asshole at this point. It really is. And, I, and I'm assuming that she does. See, the thing is, though, she probably has a power increase that can destroy like th- these guys who are way stronger than captains, right? She didn't. Like the problem is. A lot of like so Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff, you know, uh, Naruto. We get points where there, yes, there is people get powerful. But the problem is, they have to, we are there every step of the way when we see these characters train. She doesn't work. She's not working for. She's just given this immense power. So and then, so at most, it's it's power she should have had all along. I mean, that's yeah. So, yeah. So she basically gets something that's probably as strong as the Bankai without really having to work for it. So it doesn't feel as a emo- we don't get emotionally invested. It's artificial. It feels yeah. very artificial. And that's the problem I have with with random power ups. We have to be there for them to work for it. If they, if, yeah. if it's, you know, or at the very least, have some logical reason to have that power in the first place. Yeah. Like, had this been set up at least in some way, like I said, even just referring to Kiroko as her uncle would be fine. Of course, that would make the point where it looks like he's flirting with her look a little odd. But hmm, she was she was flirting with him when she was like ten, or at least looked ten, because I don't yeah. know how old they really are. But she was yeah. he was flirting with her back then, so it was still creepy. And, and like someone linked to the very first page where they first appear back in the Soul Society arc is like, and like she does it right there too, and until um, they now glares him into submission. But is yeah, he a that, pedophile? Well, he did wait till she was an adult, so probably not. Yeah, but she was still flirting with him when she was a child. Well, depends on how seriously you take that. And and, and again, and and there's probably a, 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 what is a thousand year age difference. I, I think that's literally how old he is. I mean, he's he is definitely a thousand years old. I know that. Well, at least. I think with these, with when you have age differences in that case, it kind of becomes a irrelevant uh, point. You know, I find it weird because he looks as, this, exactly the same for a thousand years with Nanao, and she like grow, grew up like ten years in a hundred years. So the, the age proportions aren't really exact uh, matching up here. Yeah, they grow a little too fast, convenient, too con- you know, in a convenient manner. You know, mm-hmm. whereas the older guys are kind of like to stay the same for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah so it's like at the very least, at least. Um, at least we'll see some action hopefully come up with next chapter. We'll show you how that goes. Like, one more big hit, either to finish him off or to set up to finishing him off. Get rid of Tweety Barrow. Yeah. And I figured next from there we'll probably go with, what, Thor? Thor, yeah, female... Uh, well, not female. I was about to say female Thor. Yeah, uh, fake cool. Thor. Fake Thor. I, mean, I was thinking the whiny Thor, but he hasn't really been a complainer. <laughs> yeah, why well, just call him fake Thor? Because he's a fake Thor. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. But, if, yeah, cause I haven't really got anything else to really bring up on there. Like I said, we... I'm not a fan of this chapter just because one incest not a thing of mine seriously the whole brother sister thing you see in so many series is like just ugh, ugh. and I don't care yeah, if they yeah, say I do not care if they say they're not blood related they are still brother and sister blood relations be damned yeah, blood is secondary yeah. and then we have the age difference as well as that too and in this case this they war. are blood related yeah yeah they are blood related it's just war it's just well, actually, well, it, also, it points out that the blood relation thing is a thing because of the the families, right? Normal families, mm-hmm. like how they had to, they, well, at least how she had. The East, we know these characters now, so it's even weirder because while we do know about the in, the, in, the, the incest from the noble families, the and the exposition of it, um, it's weirder because we actually seeing it in action. Yeah. As well as because we know well, these, these characters even, personally, we know no, Kirk, we know them now. Noble incest is not even strictly like Japanese; like it occurred in Europe too. All the families yeah. intermarrying, into relationships, intermarrying with each other. Everyone in Europe was a cousin at some point in World War One, before World War One kicked off. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just think it's weird. Agreed. I, I, I just think, I, yeah. I mean, at, le- at least in the context of Bleach right now, at least, at least right now, like it, mm-hmm. with the now of Kuroko, it just doesn't feel right with me. Yeah. It's, it's like it is like yeah. I mean, I don't realize like I do. I am looking forward to next week just to see what happens with this, what this sword, this sword can do, what the. <laughs> Blade X Machina can do. Do but. some holy purification technique that probably they'll probably have like, like a lot of religious like references and shit. Yeah, very likely because like I said they are a line of priests. It's Shinto, so. right? Yeah. Shinto, so Shinto references. There you go. Yeah. Uh, all right. And, and actually, it's kind of funny because you 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 know that Shinigami does mean death god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, anyway, that's more or less our review of Bleach this week. So it's a bit of an annoying chapter for both of us for. Similar reasons, if not completely, not to the same degree for a reason, each reason there. But I said, stay tuned this week. At the very least, we'll also have Attack on Titan to look for to listen to us talk about. Meantime, go ahead and take us away.
Bye.